In today's astronomy video lesson, we are going to get acquainted with the internal structures of the planet, planets from the solar system. So, if you have ever wondered what is there inside the planets in our solar system, now we will find out. First, let's check the battlefield. Here at the bottom of the screen we have all the nine planets with a picture of uh, their initial internal structure. And uh, here we have the movable elements which are actually representing uh, the internal structure of the planet. Let's begin with the first one. Now we have uh, a planet that uh, have a hydrogen helium atmosphere, a liquid hydrogen mantle, a liquid metallic hydrogen which is formed in ultra high pressure that is hydrogen under ultra high pressure and an iron core. Now, well, because I have played the, I have uh, played the previous lesson, I know that uh, this is one of two gas giants. This is either Jupiter or Saturn. And uh, I will bet on Jupiter just this time. And it's correct. So this is the internal structure of Jupiter. And uh, while we are on the gas giants, I will find the other gas giant. There it is. This is a structure of hydrogen helium atmosphere, a liquid hydrogen, a liquid metallic hydrogen, and iron core. Uh, now, if, in, if we compare these two gas giants, we will see that um, Saturn has a bigger liquid hydrogen mantle. This is because, or uh, vice versa, uh, Saturn is a lighter, is lighter gas giant. And uh, so it is uh, less dense. So Jupiter is denser than Saturn. So, let's continue. Uh -huh, there is an insane wasp on the wall. <laughs> Interesting creature. But back in the game, I now I'm get I'm looking at this um, structure which has a blue atmosphere, a crust, an upper mantle, a rocky mantle, molten metal outer core and a hard metal core. And uh, this, everyone should know that this is the internal structure of planet Earth. This is learned also in geography and not only astronomy. So, we are going to the next uh, structure of planet. And that is a planet with a dense hot carbon dioxide atmosphere a crust, a mantle, and a partially molten metal core. Now, I know, I know that this is Venus. Venus is maybe the only planet which uh, has that uh, hot carbon dioxide atmosphere. And interesting enough, Venus doesn't have a solid core according to scientists, and uh, it, uh, it is said, I don't know if it's true, but it said that uh, the magnetic field of a planet is, uh, well, it is not formed by, but uh, an, an iron core is needed to have a magnetic field. So, does Venus has a magnetic field? That should be will be explored later. Now we are going to the next um, structure. This is a planet with very thin atmosphere, a crust, a rocky mantle and a huge core of iron and nickel. And nickel. 
and that is the planet Mercury. Well, if we see that huge core, <coughs> most of the planet is actually its iron nickel core. And going to the next uh, planet structure, that one has atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane, methane, an ice mantle, and iron core. Now, if uh, this is ice mantle, now I can say that this is one of two ice gas giants, that is either uh, uh, Neptune or Uranus. And because this ice mantle is quite bigger, I will bet on Neptune. And I will bet correctly. Uh, yes, tries, as always, are used only for evaluation and for fun. And uh, so while, 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 <coughs> while we are on ice gas giants, let's uh, sort the Uranus internal structure, that is atmosphere of uh, hydrogen, helium and methane, a mantle of ammonia, water and methane ice and iron silicate core. <coughs> now there are only two planets left, that is one is Mars and one is Pluto. And uh, now if I compare these two I can see the big difference and I can say right away that this that is the internal structure of Pluto it is with a thin atmosphere of methane and nitrogen an ice mantle which is quite huge and a large rocky core so Pluto actually doesn't have an iron core and the last planet that I will sort, this is Mars with a rare atmosphere, a crust, a mantle and an iron core. And we have to say that this planet has almost all the qualities of Earth. This is the most explored planet by humans and also while I'm here I will share my idea of how to solve the population problem on Earth. We have watched all those movies that uh, an evil genius is trying to reduce the population and uh, uh, saying like uh, doing a good thing to humans by some, um, well, not so hum human, humane plants. But the answer is very simple. We have to go to other planets. Yes. A lot of population go to other planets and a lot of place to live. Now, why we haven't already gone to other planets? Well, because we are busy to create uh, things like weapons and other stuff, which if that resource, that resource and material is uh, invested in just one habitat on Mars or, or a, a bunker, 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 uh, there are bunkers on Earth that uh, are self-sufficient. They can, they have water, they have food for a lot of time. They have artificial gardens. Why, why, why not make it on Mars or other planets? Well, because no one actually care for everyone. I mean, no one with money, because that will cost a lot, a lot of money and resources. But this is the future. This is the long, long run future. Okay, this was a lyrical destruction. Let's finish the game. Huh? What? Okay. Uh, there is some bug that I will fix later, but uh, this is it. For now, I have uh, sorted all the, the internal structures. I had to have to get my knowledge level. But it's okay, I will get it next time. So this is for now, good gaming.